Hello and welcome to the New Indian Express. It all began when a man walked into a police station carrying a bag containing skeletal remains in Karnataka's Dakshina Kannada district. The man was a former sanitation worker who had once cleaned the banks of the Netravati River. He alleged that he had been coerced into burying and burning the bodies of numerous rape and murder victims between 1995 and 2014. Investigations began and a special investigations team SIT was assigned to the job. The man identified suspected spots where he believed mass burials happened, which were excavated. At the five initial sites, no remains were found. But on July 31st, at site number 6, they struck bone. Literally. Partial skeletal remains, including broken skull fragments believed to belong to a male victim, were recovered and sent for forensic examination. Now, the legal counsel representing Sujata Bhatt, mother of Ananya Bhatt, an MBBS student who went missing under mysterious circumstances in Dharmasthala a decade ago, has urged the SIT to deploy ground penetrating radar at locations previously identified and excavated by the complainant witness in the mass burial case. He cited the reason that heavy rainfall had created a high possibility of soil shifting and accumulation from one place to another. Considerable changes could have occurred in the forest area over approximately 11 years, and that there is a high probability that the landmarks the witness had relied on in his memory may have changed or shifted. So what is the GPR technology? Ground penetrating radar is a non-destructive detection and imaging method which identifies subsurface elements underground. GPR works by sending a radio signal underground. The radio wave bounces off any material it encounters and creates a reading that displays those bounces as hyperboles. An experienced GPR technician interprets this reading to determine the type of material located. GPR is extremely accurate. GPR has been used for determining the location of unmarked graves. There are numerous case studies abroad where GPR has been used in criminal investigations. It was used in famous cases like Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance in the US and in the West Mesa bone collector case Albuquerque in, again in the US. The most famous case must be the residential school graves in Canada, where GPR was used in the discovery of over 1,000 unmarked graves which belong to indigenous children. This case has led to national reckoning and investigations. If we adopt this technology, we may have a potential breakthrough in the Dharmasthala investigations.